about um, 10 liters. Is that right? We're live. Hi. Are we live? Not high. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so we mixed up one and a half of these, right? Yes. That would be three gallons, which is all over here. What's up, Kim May? Well, we are live. What do you think I meant? I didn't different know if type you of live. It or not. A different kind of live. I wish it was Happy Sunday Fun Day. It can be fun after this. Part. Fun Day yes. Sunday. It, it, you fun got day. a little backwards, Kim, but you, you're all right. You I, I know you <laughs> meant well. Can we get some thumbs in the chat? Are can we know? get some? You got this. Because I'm scared. You got this. Yeah, it's. It's a big, it's a, uh, quite the, we got Clara in the house, literally, not, no. y'all, it's been a year, a year since we made this, since Kenny over at RK3 built, no, built this big old mamma jamma and since then there has been four cuts there's one because they had to bring it up two three and four show off the creative seamage you can still see the geodes and and the seams because it's not level. When you make something, cut it up, put it back together, it's not going to be level. So we're hoping that this flood coat will fill these guys up. A little more. These guys here. Sanded it all down. Used 220. Everything is sanded and wiped down. Which I'll see when uh, we put this flood coat. It looks amazing. And if you notice, we are outside. You don't, Susan. You just got to baby it for probably the next hour or two. Um, the other day we did our first flood coat on this. And we did it just in time to where the sun was coming over this rooftop right down here. And this whole, this dried to the point where you could set something on it in five hours. <laughs> because of the sun and it was so hot. So hopefully we can get this done, flood coated, and we know it will be dry by probably eight, enough to, uh, oh, you know what? They probably can't even hear me. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> Could you guys not hear me before? I turned the, uh, I turned it off, babe. You don't have to turn it all the way off. You guys probably couldn't even hear me. Or could you? You guys ever mix this much resin? So, is that all the same resin? No. This is part A going in now. But I mean, y'all are holding this. Y'all are yes, putting we're this all holding this. I these. see. Yeah. Are we going to have enough? Yeah. I got a whole other two gallons right there. So and no comment on the hearing. Just keep 
keep holding these upside down, but it doesn't start hurting them. Oh, maybe it just because I thought I was hooked up to the, uh, It costs a lot. <laughs> Holy cow, how much does this cost to do something that huge? <laughs> cost to do it or cost to buy it? Our cost or the consumer's cost? Different number. Yeah, there's two different numbers involved in that question. But we're in we're in Austin still. This is the uh, drink top that we did for them in gold leaf. Look at that. It's almost so bright you can't even look at it. Look at that. Very, very shiny. Pretty cool spot over here. Building the cabanas. You think that's gonna be good enough to do? This is the amount we used in total yesterday, but I wanna do another gallon. Yeah. The numbers on this bucket did not yield itself well to that number. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm gonna hold on. Sorry, I'm gonna take you out of my holder. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> you don't want to see my face. I should have done this before. I apologize for all the shaky. Sorry. Right there. Yeah. This one will be one. Maybe, I don't know. Sorry about all that, y'all. How's everybody doing today? What's everybody up to? There has to be more epoxy than what Rhonda poured. Oh, on her walls? I don't know. That was a lot of that was a lot of epoxy. That was like 20 gallons. Yeah. You just let me know where to go. Yeah. Nobody's reading comments here. <laughs> All right. This is arguably one of the most important parts of this process of making sure your resin's mixed. What? The uh, it did, no. What's wrong? It's give, done? Me sec, give me a sec. It's done. How is it done? It just stopped? Do we not have another battery? Well, I had this one plugged in, so. By the time you get up, well, I guess we have to mix the other one. 
Let me know when you're tired. I'll switch. Okay. Huh? Feels very cauldron-like. You look very witchy. Oh, thanks. The bright side. I'm not seeing many swirls. Jack the one over there. That's it. Okay. Sweet. All right, Claire. Okay. You're off the clock. Good job. Great. No mean you fight. Okay. How long have we been streaming for? 11 minutes. That's, Wait, that's a big bucket. Oh. Yeah, babe, don't do that. Do I didn't mean to do that. Do you want to get some water? I know this is the boring part. Right, I'll, uh, I'll put you guys up. I'm gonna put you guys up. I know this is not um, too uh, good. Just <laughs> say hi to Bowie. He's chilling with his fan and his cool down. Uh, what you call it? His cooling fan. Cooling fan. Yeah, put some gloves on. What's up, JJ?
Look at this. This is what's fun. Like, it's so liquid. See that? <laughs> all, all over it, yeah. Like, you just kind of. How fun is that? Alright, I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna put you guys back. Um, and start the heat on this other side over here because hopefully my phone doesn't heat up too much.
with my hands off like bowler fans to get some more gloves on. talking to people watching. We're hustling! We're not electric mixing this bit because I'll mix in too many bubbles.
pretty sure this has been three minutes. Yeah. Can you use this mixer up here? With the avian so fluid, kind of makes you second guess yourself, doesn't it? Definitely does. I don't know if it's because you just heated this area. Mega fluid? Or just hot. It is, I can feel it warm. But the sun's not on it. If you need to add any to that lower part, do it now. The sun is not really on it that bad. Yeah. I guess it is a little bit. Trying to like skim it as light as possible to leave as little texture as possible, so that when he comes through, it's less difficult for him to.
Looks like it's still going. Anybody there still? Send us some love in the chat. <laughs> These guys are working hard. It looks like it's still going out. Oh, there we go. Caught up on the groove. Hey, y'all. JJ says, hey. Teresa says, yes. Kim says, love ya. Pamela says, love, love. Suzette. Campbell says, yep. Teresa Griffin says, love. Hey, JJ. Or if I could type hot. Hey, JJ, JJ, JJs. <laughs> so what's really interesting when we're spreading across hot resin on this board, even though we're out in the elements, you'll see little beads of uh, resin that'll go running off the side when you move your hand across the top. It's really wild. Yeah, oh, you did? I don't want to stop adding resin now. Yeah. yeah, I think we're at the stop point. So I wouldn't be surprised four to five hours. This is um, cured to the touch. I think in three hours it's going to be cured to the touch and five really? hours it'll be sandable. Wow. And this is our coat, guys. So elements really play a huge effect. I think it said Teresa is saying, trying to find somebody to deliver a torch. How's this heat gun working? You think you're good with the heat gun? I, I think I'm fine. Like, I, I think it's really okay. good. So the heat gun seems to be working pretty good, guys. Anybody worried about Bowie? He's on an ice mat and under two fans. Bowie is good. He's not even panting. He's taking a little me. I'm going to bring it down so you can see the Bowie. The Bowie set up. He has his fan I and, a, and, and water I on a towel. So, yeah. I can move you guys around a little bit. So you can see the nice glossy surface they're able to get. This is after two coats. The first coat still showed a little bit of texture. The epoxy was moving super fast and super thin, so it's hard to get a real thick coat. And in those cases, sometimes you got to keep in mind yeah. of that and yeah. have to do a second There's one. A lot of bubbles, like, here, yeah. Yes, you will always be okay. You are correct. Nice view. Yeah, this place is really pretty. The good thing about it being so warm and it going so fast is less time I have to babysit it. Okay. Kim says with most art, it just means another coat. That's true. Pamela says gorgeous. Hello, thank you. We could get her a 24 by 24 just another coat would be awesome. But this is a yeah, this is huge. This is huge. Guys, I got my shirt all in this mess. And this is my second day. I should learn to bring an extra shirt. So... Learn from me. <laughs> Going on a big project, your shorts gonna get in it. Bring a spare. She just likes doing the boot dip. <laughs> yeah, my other shirt is now armor plated. <laughs> a full chest plate. It's like I go over this and then just buttons. Well you're not getting as many bubble pop ups as you did yesterday. There's not many bubbles as there was yesterday because we didn't mix it as hard. Or maybe it wasn't as cold, the resin. We had the resin inside to keep it cooler and that gives us more working time. It's another cheat. Uh, somebody, uh, Chibi Chula says you should charge extra for extreme conditions. Uh, well, Judy, um, there's our plans and then there's the bugs plans. I don't know if you can really plan for it completely unless we just completely isolate this area and the client did not. So yeah, it's gonna happen. Learn the hard way not to put this place in a bubble. Yeah, it creates a sauna when it's hot on the roof. 
it's not pretty and also you have problems with the the tarp was bowing where it was going to drip completely into the uh countertop and that wasn't going to be pretty either okay that was going to be worse Let me put some alcohol on my hands and I can probably bring them in for close-ups. Now that let's party with the next coat. You guys want me to bring you down for a close-up? I need to hear some yeses and I will make the world shake. Just unscrew that thing there and you just slide it off there. Huh? I'm encouraging engagement by asking the questions. I can't touch anything. I'm all sticky. Okay. Here we go. No, just, just look. Just unscrew that one. Oh, right here? No, nope. second one. This one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, slide the whole thing yeah, out. The whole thing. So you can got it. Now I got a handle. Yeah. I was trying to make it harder for myself. There's a bug over here. Already? The first bug. So, guys, check this out. Jeff made a neat little trench because this guy overhangs and it's going to get some drips. So to t uh, try to encourage the drips to go this way, we may have to embrace brace it up a little bit more because it looks like it's starting to drip there. But that's some things to think about when you have having multiple levels. But look at these geoids. This is, gonna and they're going to be underlit too, right? Yeah. With LEDs or something? Yeah. So this looks super pretty. She's on the home stretch. She's almost done with this, guys. So because of the crack, she disguised the crack with a, another gold line that kind of mimics these lines. And by doing that and then the leveling component of resin it completely disguised not the crack but where they had to seam all these um pieces together because they had to jigsaw it and i'm sure it wasn't a completely clean process it was not now i'm fighting a losing battle here what with bugs yeah yeah I think we're at Bugs 10 and Erica 1, maybe 2. <laughs> but she's determined. Look at the determined down. face. Guys, this is looking great. So she's got a couple different golds in here that also helps disguise things, as well as just add extra well interest. As, what, what was the one? Huh? As well as we want to oh. You want me to talk about the glitter glass? Oh, uh, yeah. Can we, I, whenever you come back through. Okay. Not right now, just whenever you come back. So, yes? <laughs> I don't mean all of it. So, this is some of uh, Erica's glitter glass in here. And then some of these glass bits or chunks, they're pretty good sized chunks. We dusted them with some resin art color and a little bit of alcohol to get them to stick to add some 
different color elements in there. I only want to go so so close. Uh, there's some iridescent crystals in there too. Pretty yes, clear. they cut out uh, pockets, put a, a board underneath it, and then we just built it up from there. Wait a minute, no, it was an acrylic panel, wasn't it, that they put underneath? Mm, that's wood. See, and so she's putting a light underneath there so you can see how it's going to light up. It's going to be gorgeous. And so the other tricky thing is, too, is we wanted to get it nice and level. And because, you know, buildings are a certain way, it could only be so level. So we had to add an additional coat on top of the geodes because it would go in just a little bit and be level on the other side. We also did another interesting thing. We took some UV resin on some of the areas of the seams on the area when they cut it and they were following along. So they were trying to miss the geode here and coming down. And when installing, it's not always gonna be 100% perfect because something about the area is gonna be off just a little bit. They're gonna get as close as they can. So sometimes there there'll be a little bit of a ridge and we used UV resin and a little bit of a plastic sleeve and just built up the layers and built up the layers until it was nice and smooth and then went over it with some gold so it just blends right on in there Ooh, nice reflection of Jeff And then we don't have any of the geoids in the back area where the bartenders are working. That's true, a party tent would be a nice thing with the open areas, the, uh, the open sides like where they'll have either Velcro or some kind of snap closure. This particular space was really really long so that would I don't know how that would have worked with the ceiling before uh, when they first did this uh, countertop there was no ceiling and they've since then added that so this whole area up here is has been under construction so yeah and uh, it's an unusual layout for a hotel it's almost like set up for events so it's a party, it's a party, hotel. party hotel is that is that what they're called, huh? Yeah, it's for bachelor, bachelor residents. Yeah. Uh, company retreat. Mm hmm As you know, guys night out. So this has had layers and layers of resin already filling it up as it's been going along even before the install. Alright, you guys got any questions? While well, we're on countertops and art for countertops? I think on the next, like after this is cured, I may um, outline these more. Add a little bit more gold to it. And give it a another layer of depth too. Ooh. I say yes. I think I think we're in a good stopping point, minus a couple little bug details. Yeah, but even this, I can't do much longer because the setting up the resin will start to heat. That's true. So see that glass surface? That's what we're trying to go for, and we have hit it. How much resin total? Ugh, that's a good question. Like total, what would you say? Ten gallons? For this, for the first layer? You got 
Yeah, one color coat, you've got, oh gosh, it's more than 10 gallons when you figure in all the geoids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, 15? Lucky it was funny, we were, we kept on guessing on how much resin we were going to use to fill up the geoids when we were over at uh, Rhonda's place. And we were off the mark, like, multiple times. Surely another this will work, and surely another that will work. Mm -mm. We are so wrong. So when you have to fill up something, depth is definitely a factor. It's like I know it's a losing battle. Uh, I know, but you can't help yourself. you got to survive. I mean, I'm here. Or, or protect your baby. Life is good. So look away for a second, and then it's like, where's mama? How's the sticky factor? Oh, you're still working on it? Okay. You guys got any questions? We are on 6th Street in Austin, Texas. 30 minutes away from my place. all the way around but I'll just switch hands up oh. all right so yeah let me check I gotta check my phone to see if it's good enough. we got 60 we're good we're good I'll take you over here on the edge it's pretty pretty amazing shot at nighttime when the sun goes down right here Austin is definitely look at all the Oh, here you go. Well, there's the capital. Thank you. Yeah, all those cranes. Look at that. There's cranes everywhere in downtown. Like, they are just building and building and building. Look at that. Austin is thriving. So let's see here. Last night, this street was completely packed. All the way up that way, all the way to downtown. And this taco place, if you guys are ever here in Austin, go to this place, the Lucky Duck, and go in back and get some of those tacos right there the best tacos you'll ever have in Austin. It's called Taco Way, W-E-Y. Oh, yeah, and like I was saying earlier, I'm so glad that we're not by any trees because the trees are shedding. <laughs> that would have been a nightmare because those leaves would have definitely found their way over here. My phone does not like this heat. And if you guys just joined us, check out the Gold Leaf bar we did for him. It is so bright. It's got UTC. It's got uh, a layer of resin and then a layer of gloss UTC. And it, this is some very sturdy stuff. Alright y'all, I think we're done here. We gotta kind of baby this thing. Thank y'all for hanging out even when we're not talking. We really appreciate that. Um, I'm sure we'll uh, make a video of this whole thing. So, <laughs> You guys have an awesome rest of your Sunday fun day. Babe, you wanna tell them bye? Babe. Oh, hi. You tell them bye? Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the final full process video.
special thanks to Clara for helping us yeah. all the times. Dark Hickory Designs for building the substrate and helping us for two thirds of this project and being on call and it can't be here. To Stone Coat for an amazing product that works even when it's 120 degrees outside. In cahoots. In cahoots for hiring us and to Vamp and Tudor for holding it down while we're out of the studio and still sending out orders and answering emails while we're gone and can't. So, yeah, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. See you guys next time. Bye. I said bye. I said bye.